Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This beginner workout is gonna be an hourglass workout. All right, so we're focusing on shoulders and glutes. These are great muscles to work in one workout because when the glutes are resting, we can work the shoulders and vice versa. Your format will be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. You could use a bench if you'd like, otherwise you can use the floor. I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. Hey, I do have a beginner Kickstarter program. It's a full one month self-guided program. Click the card at the top of the screen and check it out. All right, let's do this workout and let's move daily. I'm gonna hit strength on my watch. Let's warm you up here. Get into the waist. Let's give one arm a nice circle here. We'll warm up that ball and socket in the shoulders. Reverse directions. Switch your arm. And switch directions. Good. Let's hit some front and back bends. Knees are soft. Hinge forward. Reach the hips forward. Nice and gentle here. It just snowed so much today. <laughs> I've been out shoveling all morning. I think I was out there three times already and I'll be going out for another pass for sure. It's the season, it's come. Hence the Christmas tree, I don't know if you noticed, but <laughs> good. Let's take it wide and we'll squat open to the chest right here. It's warm though right now. It wasn't earlier this morning, but now it's kind of all melting, but it's really heavy, so. It's a definite bend the, bend the knees and lift with the knees and not with the back kind of snow, you know? I'm going to be doing that a lot. <laughs> One more here. Good. And let's touch our toes opposite hand to foot. One more here. Up and we'll hit a nice little roundhouse ball and socket in the hip now, warming up. Now let's do feet shoulder width apart, squat and overhead reach. Cross the body, tap it out. Up and over, right here. And let's move into some heel sweeps. Right here, lift the heel, put the heel down, toe is up. Alternating sides. One more here. And you're gonna take one hand behind the back, one behind the head, and then we're gonna switch. All right, out to the side, and behind. Working on that shoulder mobility here a bit. You put it behind your head, behind your back. Last three, two, and one. Great. All right. Are you ready? Here's your first set of exercises. 
I'm just gonna grab a 10 pound weight for our goblet squat leg extension. So squatting low, standing fully, and then a leg extension out and behind, okay? Alternate sides. Squat here, stand, leg lift. Squat, other side, and lift, good. Okay, setting that down, grabbing lighter weights, maybe threes, maybe fives. We're gonna do a high pull here into a W right here. Alternating those, knees are soft. High pull here, all the way down, W and down, up, good. your core engaged when you hit that W. Okay, you don't want to throw your hips forward at all. Good, roll those shoulders out. We're gonna hit one more shoulder exercise. All right, we're gonna do a single, double military. So again, twos, threes, or fives, single, single, and then a double press right there. So one, two, double here. Be sure not to look up at the weights, okay? Look straight ahead, knees are soft, don't arch the back. Give those shoulders a roll. They should feel that. Let's go back to our squat. Okay, we'll hold that 10. Goblet squat, leg extension. Drop it low. You're here. Extension, squat, other side, right here. Great. Back to our shoulders. Twos, threes, fives. It's gonna be whatever you can W on this one, okay? <clears throat> that muscle's a little smaller than the high pull. So you're here into W here.
All right, roll the shoulders. Good, single double military coming up. Each side, then double. All right, 90 degrees, knees are soft, you're up. Up, double here. We're making our way to the ground. I'm gonna bring a 15 pound down there with me. We're gonna go into a glute thrust. All right, put the dumbbell on your pelvis, either shoulder width apart and close to your bottom. We'll pulse at the top. So you're up, pulse, down. Up, pulse, down. You're gonna stay down here for the other two. All right, remove that weight. We're gonna go into fire hydrant, so flip it over. I'll call halfway, but you're just gonna bring that leg right up to 90 degrees. It's gonna burn on that stationary leg too, but stay in the pocket. Here we go, you are up and up. This is targeting the glute med, so the top part of your glute which is great. We focused on the big glute muscle with that last exercise. Now we're at the top in the smaller glute muscle. Three, two, and switch your leg. shoulder tap. You can mod this from the knees. So if you're from the knees, you're here. We're going to alternately tap the shoulders. Therefore, putting a lot of tension on those front shoulders or take it from the toes like this. So tap, alternate tap. Try to keep your torso as still as, it, as you can. Last five seconds here. Perfect, on your back again. One more round. And I'll stick with that 15 for my glute thrust up on the pelvis. Feet close to the bottom. Remember you're pulsing at the top. Up, pulse, and down. Have a good grip on that dumbbell.
Very good. Come to seated. Into that fire hydrant again. <clears throat> nice flat back here. Mini bands work well here too if you have them. Ready, here we go, and up. that plank, alternating shoulder tap. Again, mod from the knees if you need. Otherwise, pop it to the toes. Try to separate those shoulder blades and work. So you tap and tap. somewhere in that range, you're gonna do a wide stance, toes face the front. I'm gonna call halfway on the hand. You're squatting nice and low, keep your chest up. Drop here, good. Switch hands and drop. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go into a front raise. Again, twos, threes, or fives. Palms are gonna face the ceiling, and we're gonna come up together and down to the side. Stick your chest out, up here and here. the bottom. Okay, I want you to start from that dead stop at the bottom. Now we'll move into a single double lateral. So palms face the thighs. You get a single, single, then you'll hit them both together. Twos, threes, or fives work well here. Here we go. Single here, single here, double here. Good. back, chest is up and out. All 
All right, back to the top. Going back to that sumo squat, I think I'm gonna go up to my 15 pound here, but you can go lighter or no weight. Feet face the front, nice and tall. Drop it here, shoulders back. Good. Switch your hand. up front raise targeting a little bit of that front anterior deltoid here lift it here good down. Roll those shoulders into that single double lateral raise. Okay, again, knees are soft. Palms face the ground when you're out to the side there, okay? Single here, up here. Another single, double now. No swinging at the bottom. I bring my dumbbell right to my thigh so it can't use momentum to get up. here, squeezing glute, I'll call half, nice hinge, and up, up, good, your bottom leg is stationary, soft at the knee, okay, you're going to feel it in that glute as well as it's holding your body weight up, I feel it, it's burning, three, two, switch legs, and up, Nice hinge forward. Good. Okay, back to our shoulders. Twos, threes, or fives here. We're gonna do a Y. All right, that's stationary. Arms at the side. You're gonna come up into that letter Y. Slow, slow, slow. So you're up. Slow, slow, slow on the descend. Don't push your hips forward. Nice straight arm at the top. Again, a good target at those back shoulder muscles here, which often get neglected. Very 
good. Set those down. You're going to go into a three pulse squat. So I think I'll just hold a 10, but you could do this without weights as well. You're going to pulse for one, two, three, and drive right here. So one, two, three, and up. Good. Make sure those knees don't come together. Okay, back to the top. Getting that leg extension. Again, your stationary leg, knee is soft, foot is flexed, and I don't want you to arch your back. Nice, straight leg. You're here, here, good. legs. Great. Let's go into that Y. Again, I think I'll hold fives. That's a good Challenging weight for me, so basically to the thigh. Don't swing at the bottom. Up into that Y, slow, two, three. Good. shoulders back. I'll grab my 10 again for that three pulse squat. All right, feet shoulder width, shoulders back, three pulses at the bottom. Let's work. Squeeze your glutes at the top here. Squeeze right there, good. Activate all of those muscle fibers. Almost there, folks. Last three. Two, one and done. You move daily in your hourglass workout. Well done, everyone. Enjoy for a stretch if you can. Great job, everyone. Let's do a standing stretch today. We're gonna to start with our IT band. Cross the legs over. Deep breath in and you're gonna hinge forward at the waist. Oh, good. That's a good lower back stretch as well. Just try to push that back leg hip toward the back wall. And you'll really increase that stretch there. Nice, round up slowly. Other leg goes in front, big stretch up. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Hinge forward at the waist. Again, push that hip toward the back wall. Giving it a good lengthening. Oh yeah. Good, and slowly round up. Let's bring that arm across. Stretching that shoulder. 
Good job. Yeah, shoveling actually, I just watched my chiropractor on, uh, not that I go often, but I have been. Anyway, I follow his Instagram. <laughs> and first snowfall of the year, he was out there giving a tutorial on how to shovel this heavy, wet snow. Um, that was a really good idea. Good reminders, what did he say? Uh, let's go into this four stretch here. Number one, he said, make sure you're pushing it out in front of you, okay? Like push as much as you can, just use that push motion. Uh, also, don't forget to switch sides. So often we can lift and it's heavy like that on one side and we can get a sore sciatic or sore lower back. Alternate your arms. That is something that I totally try to do and I notice if my one dominant side, if I'm on there too much, uh, it just gets really sore really quick. So I. Every sweep or swipe or pass that I make, I try to switch hands. <laughs> and then lifting with your knees, of course, right? That's super important. Hand behind the back. Let's stretch that front shoulder. Yeah, it's that three point getting down and pushing through the heels, lifting with the hips and not with that back. Mm. Switch sides. You could totally see how people will hurt themselves with this heavy, heavy, wet snow like that. You know, it just, and you can't take a big pass. I've got to do like, it's like mowing the lawn, you know, when you want it, the biggest swath that you can, <laughs> but it just, arms back, thumbs down, it's just not beneficial because the thing gets full too fast and then the lines aren't good. Same within shoveling, I'm gonna take a small pass, so I'm gonna be out there longer, yes, but it won't be as heavy and hard on my back as the small passes. So there you go, That's there's your shoveling one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Actually, this workout is a perfect workout to do to make you strong for functional exercises just like that. All right, thanks for joining. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.